42 farmers from Sufra and its environs have graduated from a six-week training program on good agricultural practices as the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development, and the Taiwan Technical Mission under the Seven Crops Project make strides towards enhancing agricultural productivity and sustainability. This initiative is one of the many training sessions conducted under the Seven Crops Project, covering a comprehensive range of topics essential for modern farming. These include production management techniques, pesticide use and safety, compost training, and marketing aimed at optimizing crop yields and farm efficiency. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chai and Chen explains that the participants were introduced to the core principles of good agricultural practices, which emphasized food safety, environmental stewardship, and economic sustainability. In the past couple of years, we have uh, hosted three farmers training school in Sufre, and we have received as much facilitation as we can from Sufre every time. For this, we are also greatly thankful for Honorable Minister Emma Hippley's support towards community development. Graduates, as you step out of the classroom, remember that the journey doesn't end here. It's merely the beginning of a lifelong quest for knowledge, innovation, and sustainability. The government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, will continue to work with the government of St. Lucia to nurture the bountiful harvest in both the industry and the community. The response from the farmers was overwhelmingly positive, with many highlighting the practical and hands-on nature of the sessions. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, noted that the program was especially beneficial for new farmers, providing them with a solid foundation to start their agricultural ventures. He encouraged the farmers to apply their newfound knowledge and skills to enhance their farming practices and contribute to the region's agricultural development. And I do hope what will happen is the results of your work, your training, will help us do a lot better and boost the, the sector in a big way. We had 42 of you all. If every single one of you engage one person in your community, it means that 82 persons, 84 persons, would have received some level of attention in the sector. And you may just do well by encouraging this person to get an interest or be interested in getting into the, in the, in the agriculture. Expressing gratitude to the Taiwan Technical Mission for their commitment to advancing agricultural standards and ensuring food security in St. Lucia, Minister Prosper stated that the training's impact will resonate throughout Sufre and beyond, fostering a more sustainable and productive agricultural community. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Anton reporting.